Welcome to WELD AM FM Radio. I hope you enjoy this video of our studios where we create great local radio every day. WELD AM is a classic rock and roll hit radio station with a daytime power of 3,000 watts. Our 690 AM signal is heard not only throughout the Potomac Highlands and eastern panhandle of West Virginia, but also western Maryland, south central Pennsylvania, and northwestern Virginia. We operate with a reduced power at nighttime, serving mainly the West Virginia counties of Hardy, Grant, Pendleton, Mineral, Hampshire, and Tucker counties. WELD AM is also heard worldwide on the web at weldamfmradio.com. You may also receive WELD on your Android or smartphone. WELD 101.7 FM has a power of 6,000 watts, serving eastern West Virginia, western Maryland, and the northwestern area of Virginia. WELD FM plays primarily today's hit country music, along with country legends, and at times we have gospel and bluegrass music programming. WELD Radio takes great pride that we are locally owned and operated, and when there is a threat from weather or other circumstances, our pledge is to be here on the air with the information to keep our listeners and their property safe. With our backup power generator, there have been numerous times during weather emergencies WELD has been the only area radio station on the air. There have been times with electric, telephone, internet, television, and cable interruptions, WELD has virtually been the only source of information. WELD AM went on the air in August 1956, owned by Richard Fields Lewis, Jr. The station was managed by Kimberly Johnson. He, Johnny Bell, and a lady who went by the name of Allison Recordland were the first air personalities. Other personalities over the years included Zag Pinnell, who managed the station from 1962 until his retirement in 1985. In 1985, the station was purchased by Willard Earl and his partners with a company called South Branch Communications. On February 6, 1987, WELD-FM went on the air, simulcasting a country music format. Staff members over the years included Edwin Biddy Allen, Calvin Jack Hose, Alan James Shockey, Amy Thompson, Kenny Pacman Pack, Gust Boyd, Glenn Wright, Jack Leatherman, Billy Ray Dunn, Julie Schaub, Irene Webster, Margaret Kessner, and Harold Garber. In March of 2004, Thunder Associates LLC purchased the radio station. For more information on recent and present employees, check out the rest of our website for their videos and pictures.